Yo, what's up guys? It's Enigma here. Um, I'm just, just making a putting out a video here to basically explain <coughs> some uh, post Dragon Rush interactions that have recently come up on Twitter, I think like last night. Uh, a Twitter user by the name of Ryuji Mako or something, I can't remember exactly. I'll get up in a second. Um, and some other people that are, I know, obviously Raw Kid, um, sort of like countering it and stuff and I just wanted to explain both of both people are right um, but I just wanted to explain the interaction to everyone because it seems like not everyone actually uh, understands what's actually happening so <clears throat> I basically want to talk about uh, Dragon Rush and how the effects of like post Dragon Rush can be affected by both characters um, so the first thing I want to talk about is uh, Dragon Rush or post Dragon Rush situations can change depending on who initiates the DR uh, and it could also change uh, depending on forward momentum or backwards momentum or neutral momentum and it can also change uh, based on screen positioning so there's three things um, and we're gonna you know we're gonna do this really scientifically and just go through each one and show how each variable uh, can actually affect the scenario so so we're gonna keep screen positioning uh, the same we're also gonna keep uh, momentum the same. We'll talk about momentum a bit a bit more later, but for now we'll talk about who initiates the DR. So I'm currently using Goku Black. I'm controlling Goku Black as the uh, my, my character, and GT Goku is the bot here, right? So we're gonna get the bot GT Goku to do 2P6H on reaction. It's also gonna guard cancel and guard first mate as we love, whatever. So yeah. So, so on reaction or as a reversal, which is important, he's gonna do two to six H, right? So a dragon rush. Right, so there we can see that I actually beat GT Goku. Now if we take the flip situation and the bot is now Goku Black and I am GT Goku. I beat him. Right, so we can see there that <clears throat> whoever initiates the DR and who breaks the DR changes the uh, the outcome of the clash. You can go back and rewind there and you can see that on both uh, times there was a reversal that came up and reversal only comes up if it's on the first frame, the very first frame they come out of Blockstone. The reversal comes up, right? So you can see that there. Anything else it doesn't come up, right? And that's the specials, uh, normals that doesn't uh, happen. So I just show you here. That doesn't happen for normals. No reversal there. And there's no reversal there, right? So that's the first thing. So now let's go back to having GT Goku. So we've done uh, who initiated the DR that can affect the outcome. And then now we will do uh, forward momentum, right? So this is actually going to take a bit while, a while to get through to fully understand. But try and bear with me. So if you if you look closely here, oh let's do this in the corner. So if you look closely here, I'm going to break. I'm going to DR. I'm going to DR GT Goku, and he's going to break. Now I'm not. Sta I'm standing still. I'm standing completely still as Goku Black, not moving or anything. I stand still, and I DR. If you look closely, look at Goku Black's forward foot, his left foot. You see right there, the back of his left foot is on the uh, the like horizontal or vertical crack, right, of the ground. Now, if I dash forward and I DR, you can see my foot is actually slightly in front of it. So this shows that DRing or Dragon Rushing, rather, you can affect the DR distance through dashing or not dashing. Incidentally, moving forward and pressing DR also has the same effect as, as, as uh, dashing. And moving backwards and pressing DR is the same as standing still. And also, if you do an ID and then button without pressing anything, you, you, it's, like, it's like you're standing still. You have backwards momentum because if you look closely, Goku Black's actually moving backwards after the uh, for hitting him. Same with JL. Right there. I'll put my inputs on as well, just so it's easy to see. I should have done that from the start, but forgive me. Right there. Now you can actually manipulate this slightly after an IED if you hold forward slightly. See, now I'm in front. Now the front foot is in front, so 
this uh so far from what i've tested from gt Go, gt goku and goku black this is consistent across these two characters so i assume it's consistent across the whole cast um and this actually also changes uh whether or not goku black will beat uh gt goku so go to enemy settings put him on 236h again so no momentum dragon rush reversal i beat him okay. Now, if I do dash, and I reversal, oh, didn't reversal there, hang on. Right, now I dashed, and I reversal, and I didn't beat him. So, Goku Black can beat GT Goku, but only if he has the, uh, <coughs> if he, what's it called, um, if he doesn't have forward momentum. Um, and it's obviously really easy to set up by just by doing that or whatever. Um, you can do it with an assist as well. I probably, I reckon you could do it after this. Oh, actually, well, if we look at how how much momentum Goku Black has after he does light TP, yeah. So that's the same as standing still. So doing that and then doing the uh, DR would enable me to get the. Um, uh, I'm not gonna have to edit this out. Right, there we go. Finally got it. Cool. So that shows you that the full momentum does affect it. Um, coincidentally, Karakhan saying normals actually doesn't or gives like uh, zero momentum. So I'm gonna carry cancel 5M, which is uh, Goku Black's full advancing normal. I'm gonna carry that into uh, DR. So just cancelling the early startup frames. So you see there, I'm actually at the back, and I'll do that again. Messed it up again. Okay. So I'm still, I'm still moving back. It doesn't matter. So I have to carry cancel 6M there. So it looks like if you carry cancel, oh, hang on. If I carry cancel, it takes away my dash momentum, which is very interesting. So there's another thing. Uh, normally, using the dash momentum for the dragon watch would put you forward. But you can actually power cancel it and make it have make it take away the dash momentum. So that's that's something I literally just found as I was recording this video. I literally just thought I did to try that. So that's pretty interesting. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, this is this is pretty good for Goku Black players. There's a lot of times where someone might reflect you, and you'd want to, or Goku GT might you know might reflect and then the and then you want the DR or whatever. Then you can just do the uh, open. Okay. So now you'd be in front normally. However, if you can carry cancel it, you do that here. Now you'd be at the usual distance. So that's that's a really uh, interesting mechanic there. I just <laughs> pretty much figured out. Uh, not not carry canceling. Everyone knew that already. But yeah, cool. So we've covered four momentum, and the last thing I will cover is screen positioning. So. Here we saw if I initiate the Dragon Rush, that GT Goku beats me on Right, so, so I beat GT Goku. Right. Now if we swap the if we turn around the screen positioning and I again initiate the Dragon Rush. See both reversal but GT Goku beats me. Right. Now if I do full momentum, I didn't reverse. Right, so there. So you can see if I have full momentum and I push him a bit on the screen, I can actually beat him there. So I think this also counts for uh, yeah mid screen. You don't even need uh, momentum; you just beat it straight out. Um, but this obviously shows you that maybe taking with a uh, a forward advancing button actually you know well I think actually uh what's his name Himios actually found this out. So yeah, shout out to Himios. Uh, but yeah, if you happen to be able to tech with a forward advancing button, it actually gives you a bit of space so you can actually, uh, you know, move out, move, move a bit further out. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Uh, and let me just show doing it with, doing it with GC Goku. Uh, so let's say I do jump and then reversal. Cool. So there's a reversal to the 6 H, uh, and I'm gonna try and tech with 5M. Yeah. So you see that I, I 
my, my momentum actually pushes me out, right? Uh, so yeah, full momentum will change. Whoever, whoever initiates the dragon rush uh, will also change, um, etc., etc. So it's quite complicated, uh, but I hope that sort of helps. Um, I talked about the reversal thing as well coming out in frame one. Uh, I talked about carry cancelling, talked about uh, DRs from overheads. Uh, and yeah, everything else. Uh, I'm sure this also changes the situation with Bardock as well. Uh, if we just quickly check with Bardock, so 226H. Yeah, reversal there, but if I do full momentum, maybe. Yeah, right there. So the full momentum does affect the situation with Bardock as well. Um, I'm not sure how Bardock players can influence this. I don't think it matters for Bardock players uh, because they're the ones initiating anyway. So yeah, when the when the battle players want to shoot, it doesn't matter either way. Yeah, you always win. So this is something for Goku Black players to think about when they uh want to use this. It's also actually really good because dive kick is plus on air block. Uh, they have him block. Uh, dive kick is plus. <laughs> yes, I'm plus two. That's Goku Black. So yeah, if you can if you can use this situation to your advantage, you can. If your if your opponent's smart enough to know, then you're plus. Uh, if your opponent's not smart enough to know, then you get a light dive. You get a heavy dive kick starter, which is obviously great for combos. So yeah, but yeah. That's all from me. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Uh, go out and lab, please lab stuff. Don't just take everything you see and absorb it and assume it's true. Always lab, always test. Um, so shout out to Raw Kid, shout out to Ruji as well for posting the stuff that they found. Um, I appreciate it because this is actually my third look at this situation, this post Dragon Rush situation. So thank you guys a lot. Uh, I found out something new as well. So yeah, peace out. Play some Dragon Ball. See ya.